Hello students, today we are going to see chapter number 9, Ledger and Posting of Standard 11 Commerce Subject Account. So this is the 7th part of the uh, chapter and today we are going to see posting from the subsidiary book. Today we are going to see the subsidiary book in, in which the column for the goods as well as expense is given and from that we are going to make the posting. So here is the sum number 6 and where we are going to prepare subsidiary first and then we are going to make the posting from the subsidiary book. Let's see illustration number 6. So here we have to prepare very first is a subsidiary book for uh, different type of um, expense and from that we are going to prepare the ledger. So uh, transaction number first. From the following information of Chetan, prepare column or sales book and make, make its posting. Number one, goods of rupees 8000 sold to proper and by adding 10% profit, invoice number 301 of dated 86.15. Send to him inclusive labor charges 480 and package expense 220. So here the goods is of rupees 8000 and we have added the profit of 10%. So that will be 800. So total will be 8800. So amount of goods will be 8800. And date is it 8, 6, 15. Prakhar account. And here invoice number is 301. Amount of goods is a 8800. Then labor charges is a 480. And packing expense is a 220. So this is railway freight is not given in this transaction. So total of this will be 9500. Now let's see the transaction for next date. That is goods of rupees 5400 sold to B2 invoice sent inclusive of labor charges 140, railway freight 100, outward invoice number is a 302 and date is 9615. So here the next date is a 9650. Account is a B2 account. And invoice number is a 302. Goods sold is of rupees 5400. And labor charges is 140. Railway freight is a 100. So here there is no packing expense. Railway freight is a 100. So total of this will be 5,640. Now let's see the next transaction that is on third. Goods of rupees 12,000 sold with profit 12% invoice sent inclusive of labor 720 packing expense 300 railway freight 200 outward invoice number is a 300 predicted uh, 10 10 6 15 so here <coughs> the uh, amount is at 12,000 so that we are going to write down here then is it 10 6 15 and here mini account and invoice number is a 303 now uh, goods is of rupees 12,000 and we have added the profit of 12% so total amount of goods will be 13,400 40. So let's write 13,440 and labor charges is 720 and packing expense is a 300, railway freight is a 200 and total of that will be 14,660. So here our subsidiary books expense wise is complete number. 
now let's make the total of this so here we are going to make the total of the all the amount that is amount of goods labor charges packing expense railway freight and the total amount so we will make the total of this so here 8800 5400 13000 440 so total will be 27640 here labor charges is 480 140 720 total will be 1340 220 300 so it will be 520 then this will be 100 and 200 total will be 300 and total of this will be 29800 so this is our total credit cells this is our total credit cells so here we will write total credit cells so this is our subsidiary book now from the subsidiary book we are going to prepare the ledger and how many ledger we supposed to prepare that we are going to see now so here very first ledger we are going to prepare that is for the cells amount of goods very first account we will prepare is a sales account. The second account that we are going to prepare is a labor charges account. Third account will be packing expense. Fourth will be railway freight. And the other account that we are going to prepare that is the debtors account. In that very first will be Brakhar account. Second will be Bilju. And third will be Mihir. So here for the posting we have to prepare seven account in that four account we are going to prepare for that and three account for the debtors so let's prepare that let's start posting from the column sales book so here it is a sales book so total of the goods uh, we are going to write on the credit side of sales account so the total of the goods account is 27640 so that we will write on the credit side date will be 10 615 by sundry debtors account as per polymer sales book So here we have made the credit effect. 
effect of the uh, cells book. Now we are going to make the derivative full effect of the subsidiary book. Then we are going to make on the debit side of each debtor's account. So let's do that. So on uh, Prakal's account debit side we will write on 8.615 to sales account as per column of sales book. Total of the sales account is 8,000. 800. Then 2. Labor charges account. It will be 480. Then 2. Packing expense account. And it will be 220. So this is the total of the broker account. Now, let's see same for the b account. On the debit side of b account, we are going to write down on the date number 9615 9615 to sales account as per column sales book. Here, yeah, total of the cells will be 5400. Then, we will write to labor charges account. And that will be 140. Then, to railway freight account. That is 100. So, this is for the account. Now let's make the debit effect in the Mihir's account. So here the uh, on date, date number 10.615 to sales account as per column of sales book. Total of the sales book is a thirteen thousand four hundred forty. Then two labor charges account. It will be seven hundred twenty. Then two packing expense. It will be 200. So, this is how we are supposed to make the posting from the column uh, subsidiary book. The debit side total we have to uh, write on the debtor's account and credit side total we are supposed to write in a sales account and respective expense account. Student, you may note down this in your notebook. Thank you for watching this video.